Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Coxie Tutorials and Gameplay and today we're going to be doing part 18 of our Unity 5 first person shooter tutorial series and today we are going to be working with our minigun and making it so that we actually have an ammo counter and we can run out of bullets and then the minigun will stop playing its animations and stop making its shooting sound and also obviously won't be able to shoot bullets. So before we get started I just want to show you guys a couple of really quick things that I've done before this uh, tutorial started. So in our FPS controller we used to have our Raycar shooting script and we also had our crosshair script. I've taken them off of the F FPS controller and I've put them actually on the minigun that is a child of our FPS controller, not the minigun that's on the ground, the minigun that's actually a child of the FPS controller, this one. The one we should have, or the one you should have your muzzle flash script on. So put your Raycar shooting script on there, make sure you adjust the damage if you had changed the damage that the bullets do and also put your crosshair on there and then make sure you put your crosshair texture back in this slot here. The reason I'm doing this is because I want different guns to have different shooting scripts and also different guns to have different crosshairs and I don't want a crosshair on the screen unless the player actually picks up a gun. So yeah that's all I've done so you guys can go ahead and do that and now we'll get started on the tutorial first thing we're going to do is make the easiest script in history and what this script is going to do is it's not going to be attached to anything in our game or our hierarchy and this script is just going to hold uh, any static variables that we want to use for our game and the reason I'm going to use a static variable is because we're going to have a variable called ammo and we're probably going to want to access this variable uh, through quite a few different scripts and if we make a static variable as I'll show you in a minute it's very easy to access this variable in a different script so here we go so I'll just call it static variables and just want to open this up in our mono develop or visual studio and we basically just want to delete all this stuff and then we're going to say static make sure you put the static in front of it static var ammo and it's going to equal uh, we want probably 500 bullets for this minigun because it shoots really really fast so control shift s and save that and then go back into unity so that's basically done for now we're probably going to add another static uh, variable to this script in the future so i'll put that in my scripts folder and now we're just going to make some uh, very basic ui i usually uh, make ui through scripting and I haven't really made much UI just on the screen but it, it's really easy I had a quick go today well it's easy to do the very basic things anyway which is what we're going to be doing so right click in your hierarchy go to UI and we want text and as you can see when we uh, create a UI text or any UI basically we get a canvas and if you click on the canvas and then go up here to this little 2D we'll change the game to 2D and then double click on the canvas and as you can see that is the canvas and the canvas basically is just the UI on the whole screen it's like having a HUD or whatever um, yeah so you can use this for many different things use it for menus uh, use it for splash screens uh, use it for HUDs as I said um, just heaps and heaps of different things in games uh, I won't get into too much detail and what we're going to do in this canvas is we actually have our text and as you see when you usually create new UI it's on this um, little resizing tool because this is very handy to to resize uh, UI so 
I'm just going to click on the move tool and I'm just going to grab this text and drag it over to the corner here just like that and I'm also going to go up here to rect uh, transform here and click on the anchors and I'm going to go to the bottom and then the right so this one here and I'm going to anchor this to the bottom right it's anchoring uh, basically if you I is just say that I have this text here for this game on the computer that would be fine and the writing would appear here on the on the right bottom hand corner but if we uh, moved it to a different platform like Android or something with different uh, screen resolution or different size screens whatever um, this text could move into a different place on the screen whereas if we anchor it to a, a point it uh, should stay in the right hand bottom corner hopefully that's how I think it works anyway so yeah, all right, moving on. We're going to call the text ammo counter. Oh, no, not ammo counter, because this isn't actually the counter. This is the UI, so we'll just call it ammo UI. And I'm going to change, oh, first we'll write what it's going to be. So I'm just going to say ammo equals, and then change the size to 25 going to go best fit and also going to change the color to something like this that stands out and now in this ammo UI we also want to create another UI text and as you can see, because we've already got our canvas, it doesn't create the canvas and the event system again. The event system, sorry, I didn't uh, go into this before. This uh, basically is what runs all the UI, and you don't, you, well, I don't uh, touch this. You don't do anything with the event system. Just the text is uh, what we're going to use. So for this text, we will just make it a zero, because this is going to be the actual counter for our bullets. Um, and the font size uh, we did 25 and we did best fit we might as well make it the same and I'm going to change this to red and now I'm just going to have a bit of a look here I'm going to use this resize tool First, I'll drag this on which one I'm using. Then go to the resize tool. Now, this isn't just going to be the zero, so I'm going to make it so it can hold uh, three letters because three numbers. God damn it! Sorry, three numbers because we're going to start off with 500 bullets as uh, we just did before. So we want to uh, make this fit on our screen. I'm going to make this the same size as that and I'm going to move this over a little bit stretch that out a little bit and then make this a little bit bigger as well okay so it's just like that and I'll just call this bullet counter okay I think that should be fine for now so what we want to do now is not going to write any more um, new scripts we're actually just going to add to a couple of our other scripts so the Raycar shooting script which now should be on the minigun that's a child of the SPS the FPS controller uh, go to that Raycar shooting script and up here we want to type in import import unity engine dot UI and this will allow us to use the UI system and it'll allow us to use text which we're going to use here as a variable uh, I'll just quickly if you're using um, if you're using C sharp 
instead of import, you would just type using instead of import. Uh, for those of you that only type in uh, C sharp. So var bullet amount UI and it is, as I said before, going to be text with a capital T. And if we haven't, um, if we haven't written this up here, then you won't be able to access the access the text. Sorry, I can't talk very well today. Uh, moving on, we are going to go down to our function update. And before all of this stuff, where we push the left trigger, uh, left mouse button, sorry, and we shoot our ray and apply damage to the enemy. The very first thing I want here now is going to be an if statement and it's going to be if the bullet amount UI is not equal to null. So basically if the uh, bullet amount UI is on the screen then we want to do this. So it's going to do this because our bullet amount UI is on the screen permanently. So in our if statement we want to write bullet amount UI dot text with a lowercase t this time and then we want to access our variable that we made in our static variable script that's not attached to anything and as I said it's very easy to access this now so all we have to do is type in static static variables. So the name of the script, whatever you call this script, static variables is what mine's called and then just dot and then the name of the variable that we want to access. So dot ammo and then we want to turn it into a string so that it'll actually count. And open and close parentheses and then a semicolon to finish it off. And then shift control s to save and also we want to change a couple more things in here so down here when we press the left mouse button we want to also make it so that it, it won't do anything in this if statement unless we actually have ammunition because at the moment if if we had 500 ammo and shot it all and we had our finger on the left mouse button it's just going to keep shooting the gun is going to keep making rays and we'll be able to kill enemies because that's what we've told it to do. So now we need to tell it if we push the left mouse button down and static variables dot ammo is greater than zero. So we have more than zero bullets, then it will be able to do the rest of this stuff. And also here under bullet effects we will also use the static variable again, the ammo one. I told you we're going to be using this a bit. Um, I'm just going to space this out a bit. And then just type minus minus, which just means that every time that we shoot a bullet, it's now going to deduct one. Minus minus just means deduct one every time. Okay, so shift control S and save that. I think that's all we needed to do for this script. We'll soon find out. So go back into Unity, and now we just want to change our, where is it? Muzzle flash. So same for muzzle flash. Uh, we don't want the muzzle flash to instantiate the end of our gun unless we actually have bullets. So I'm just gonna go back into ray car shooting and steal that line again. Steal that one. And then I'm going to put it in here. Okay, save that. That was all for that one. And then in the minigun script, we want to do the same thing here. But also, the problem with this script is we not only have, if we have our finger on the left mouse button, if we push that down and we have ammo, it's going to play the animation and it's going to play the shooting sound, but the problem is 
just say we run out of ammunition and we don't take our finger off the left mouse button because we've got this other statement here that says if we take our finger off the left mouse button it's not going to stop playing the animation and the gun sound until we do this so even if we run out of ammunition it's still not going to stop playing the animation and the gun sound until we take our finger off the left mouse button so to fix this Instead of having an AND statement, we'll do something different and we'll have an OR. So if um, input get left mouse button down OR static variables dot ammo. So we're using this uh, variable again. Is this time we want it to be less than one so it'll stop playing the animation and the gun sound if the, the left mouse button is lifted up if it goes up if we take our finger off it or um, our ammunition goes below one okay so that should work I haven't actually tested uh, this yet so it may not work but I'm pretty sure it's going to work fine um, and that should nearly be it. The only other thing we've got to do now is go into the FPS controller and on the minigun that we have our Raycar shooting script and crosshair script attached to now we have this bullet amount UI and we've got to uh, put in there what um, we're using for our bullet counter which is this here, our bullet counter. So just drag that in there and hopefully everything should go smoothly, we've got no errors. So we're in our game now, and as you can see, uh, there's no crosser on the screen because we don't have a weapon, which is what I wanted. And if we go and pick up this gun now, as you'll see, we've got 500 ammunition straight away, and we have a crosshair. So let's test this out. Okay, as you can see, I'm shooting the enemies and it's counting down. And now we need to test when we run out of uh, bullets whether this gun is going to stop shooting and making noise and playing animation. So here we go. And there you go. So that works perfectly. So we have zero ammunition now and we cannot use our gun, which is good. So in the next tutorial, um, probably going to make it so that we can pick up more ammunition for the minigun. So like something like this would be good. We could put some things in here and have an ammunition box or something in here so that once we've taken care of them uh, we can get some more ammunition and continue on our merry way of mowing down enemies. Okay guys, I uh, really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and yeah, I hope you learned something from it at the very least and I'll see you in number 19. Thanks heaps for watching guys, cheers.